Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here, and today I am back with the start of a brand new series on my channel on Madden 16, and yes, we are going to be starting an LA Rams franchise, as you can tell by the title, a connected franchise, I guess you can call it, but either way, we're going to be taking over the St. Louis Rams, and we are going to be relocating them to Los Angeles, just like in real life. This episode is going to be the year one sim, I wanted to simulate through the first season, so we get the team into LA, and uh, kind of, you know, I guess, kickstart the rebuilding process a little bit. The Rams, not quite... In, in a full rebuild mode, I would say they have a lot of good young pieces, especially their front four on defense, but definitely a team that needs some improvement on uh, on its roster. So we're going to take over as the owner in year one, and the first thing we are going to do is relocate. So Stan Kroenke, as he did in real life, is going to look to move the LA Rams, or move the St. Louis Rams to LA, I should say. So here we go, we're going to start with the simulation through the first season. I'm going to show off simulating through each 16 weeks. And the goal in season one really was just a tank. I wasn't looking for anything more than a high draft pick. We start at 0-1. We're going to move towards week number two. And you're going to see we're going to start out the season 0-2. So... Now we get into the scouting, and the first thing I wanted to scout was the quarterbacks in this draft. I think that is priority number one, is to find the quarterback of the future. So I was using up as many scouting points as I could to scout the uh, quarterbacks that were projected to go in the first, uh, I don't know, four or five rounds of the draft or so. And then we're going to move forward into week number four, continuing with the scouting of the quarterbacks. Like I said, quarterback probably the most important position in football, and definitely wanted to uh, find our quarterback of the future. Another position I thought we needed to address for the future was left tackle. Uh, the Rams offensive line, not too good. They drafted Greg Robinson pretty high a couple of years ago, but he has really not panned out. And so we're going to be looking to draft the future left tackle and uh, pro probably pretty high in the draft. So here we go with the relocation process. And of course, you know, lots of options here, a bunch of different cities, both in the US, Mexico and in London, but ultimately had to keep it realistic and had to move the team to Los Angeles. You can see tons of fan interest. LA has been looking for a football team for about 20 years now. I think it was 1996, I want to say, is when the Raiders left, or 1994 maybe, one of those years. And uh, they are going to finally get a team back in Los Angeles, just like in real life. So here we go. Continuing scouting with the left tackles. And, uh, you know, really the offensive line was something I wanted to address in this draft. So uh, we will do the offseason in episode number two. I'm going to split up the year one sim and the year one offseason into, into two episodes just so that this wouldn't drag on for like 20 minutes. So here we go. We have the option of uh, keeping our namesake, the Rams, and carrying that over to L.A. Or we could go with uh, the Crusaders, the Aftershocks, and the Red Dragons. It looks like we're our other options. But obviously, I wanted to keep the Rams. Keep it realistic, as I said. So we're going to be uh, taking over as the L.A. Rams in Los Angeles next season. And then once again, continuing forward. With the scouting of the left tackles here, we're going to actually move on in a sec to uh, a different position. Actually, it looks like we get to that next week, but here we go, advancing to week number seven, and I think we're still winless at this point. I believe we're 0-5-1 after the first uh, six weeks of the season. So we're looking at right guards here as well. The really only offensive line position that I thought we had a solid starter at was left guard. That was Garrett Reynolds. I think the rest of the spots we could look to upgrade, and so right guard, center, and right tackle are all spots I'm going to be looking to uh, scout as we move in through season one. Now, I had a tough choice here deciding between the stadiums. Um, there's a lot of interesting designs here. Ultimately, it came down to the basic, or not the basic, I knew I wanted to go with the deluxe stadiums. It came down to the uh, traditional stadium or the futuristic stadium, but ultimately, I decided to go with the traditional stadium. You're going to see in a sec here. This was the stadium I was considering the futuristic. I kind of like the way it looked, but I don't know. A lot of the stadiums in this game I thought looked kind of tacky. The domes and the even the one with the retractable roof, I thought it's a little bit too much. So I just had to go with the classical look, go with the traditional stadium, and uh, kind of, you know, they mentioned it kind of looked like the LA Coliseum. And I thought that was kind of cool because that is where the Rams are going to play their games for the next couple of seasons before Kroenke gets his new stadium built in Inglewood. So we're going to move, move into that. I'm not sure what it's going to get named, but here we go now. Still uh, scouting on the offensive line, moving on to the right tackles now. Like I said, both tackle spots, I think, are uh, areas where we need to improve. So I stopped, um, you know, I, I figured out about it like halfway through this that I really shouldn't be spending... Um, like the 15 points on the third rating uh, when you're scouting, I think it's probably more efficient to just do the first two. And then if you have a good enough prospect where you think, you know, that third rating could still be like a B or a B plus, then maybe it's worth the 15 points. But um, right about here is where I realized if the second rating is like a, a B minus or even a B, I'm probably not going to want to do that third rating. 
So I kind of figured that out as we went along. Um, definitely some regrets as I did this year one sim. I'll talk about those things that I kind of wish I had done differently as we move along here, and especially in the off season. I think there are kind of some what ifs, but we'll address those in the next episode. So here we go, moving out to right outside linebacker. The defense is definitely the strong suit of this Rams team, but um, I think really that is primarily in the front four. I think the linebacking core is very weak, especially um, outside of left outside linebacker. Really at right outside and middle linebacker, they could use serious upgrades. And in the secondary too, I thought we could look to upgrade. I really want to build a good secondary. I think that, um, you know, it's really important to building a strong defense is having a good pass defense. And the Rams secondary is okay. I wouldn't say it's anything special. And I think they could definitely use, um, you know, a couple more playmakers back there, so to say. But anyway, moving forward now into week number 12, moving back to the offensive line, looking at centers and, uh, you know, looking for good run blockers here, guys, who can protect the quarterback, of course, as well. Moving on now to week 13. I can't even tell what our record is, but uh, it is not very good. I know what we finished as, uh, or I know what our record finished as, so I can tell you it's uh, not very good. But anyway, moving on to wide receiver as well. I wanted to get some new weapons for our quarterback, um, you know, for our future quarterback that we plan on drafting. I thought the Rams wide receiving core could use, some, could use an upgrade as well. Um, a couple draft picks in recent years have not quite panned out like Tavon Austin and Stedman Bailey. But uh, Kenny Britt's a solid, solid you know, deep threat. I think I'd like to keep him moving forward, but uh, other than that, Tavon Stedman definitely could use some others to uh, supplement those guys. So overall on this team, I would like to continue building around that front four. You know, their defensive line is already so, so good with the likes of Nick Fairley, uh, Willie Hayes, of course, Robert Quinn and Aaron Donald, probably two of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. And other than that, though, I think the rest of the roster really could use some improvement. Um, not really a lot of positions I felt like we had really established starters at other than that front four. And I think that kind of proved in the simulation because the team really didn't do so well. And, um, you know, maybe in real life you could argue a little bit differently. But um, I just think based on the ratings in the game, we really could look at upgrades at a lot of other spots. Tight end is another spot I feel pretty comfortable with. We have, of course, Jared Cook and uh, Lance Kendricks. But I still decided to do my due diligence in scouting tight ends because, um, you know, I think that's a spot still we have two solid guys but you know if we're really looking for a playmaker at tight end a stud then uh you know we're gonna have to look through the draft but here we go we finished the year at 3 12 and 1 we actually did tie in uh, one of the first six games of the year i believe but either way we finished the year with the fourth worst record in the league that is what matters we're gonna have the fourth overall pick in the upcoming nfl draft and we're gonna retire from the league as stan crunky so i knew i wanted to do this series as a coach not an owner i was only an owner for the first season so that i could move the team from uh, st louis to la so we're gonna pick it up as a head coach and you're gonna see we're gonna take over the uh st louis Rams, still listed as the st louis rams of course not for long but uh, anyway we're gonna create a new coach because i really don't think jeff fisher is that great of an nfl coach and he probably should have been fired in real life and we're gonna be creating Creating our new head coach, our new character, Nick Saban. Nick Saban is going to be taking his talents from Alabama to LA, a move that he has been a long rumor to do, not necessarily to LA, but you know, back to the NFL. He had a short stint with the Miami Dolphins back in like 2005 and 2006, I want to say, and was pretty unsuccessful as the coach of the Dolphins, and then moved back to uh, co the college ranks, taking over as the uh, head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. But, you know, he's got, what, four national titles now, I believe, uh, as an Alabama head coach, and five if you include the one he won at uh, LSU. So it's time for him to uh, take his talents back to the NFL and prove that he can be a successful NFL head coach. So I gave you guys a look at what the uh, playoff matchups were looking like. One interesting matchup I saw was Dolphins at Titans, and the Titans actually won a playoff game, so they are going to be uh, moving on to take on the Patriots in the second round. And, of course, I'm sure Dan Shaughnessy would have written his uh, tomato can column if uh, the Titans had played the Patriots in real life. But either way, Bengals at Patriots now is going to be the uh, conference championship game. We've got Panthers at the uh, Packers in the NFC. So we're going to move on to the Super Bowl here, and it is going to be Panthers at Patriots. So kind of realistic, I guess. I mean, the Patriots, of course, lost to the Broncos, but they did make the AFC championship, and the Panthers, of course, did make the Super Bowl if they ended up losing. But... Anyway, you can see now I am uh, devoting some scouting points to the secondary. Like I said, I think cornerback is a spot where uh, the Rams have a couple solid guys like Janoris Jenkins and EJ Gaines, but still definitely room for improvement. And uh, I think if we could find a true number one lockdown corner, that uh, you know it could be a good spot for us to upgrade. So anyway, the Panthers do end up beating the Patriots in Super Bowl 38 to 23, so they get their first uh, or they get their first Super Bowl title in franchise history. And uh, then you can see some other storylines. But this is where I'm going to end off the video. So we will have episode number two, which will be the year one offseason coming out tomorrow. Hope you guys are excited for that. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.